what's going on? It's Bobbles here. And I'm Ricky. And I'm Julian. Just want to show you guys this. Look at that. We got a hot sauce coming out soon, baby. Nice. From the Coney Island Saucery. Did you see that? It's actually really fucking good, too. It's unbelievable. So go to the website right here, and you can be the first ones to get it. There's going to be a like a pre thing where you can get in early. You said right here. What do you mean? There's going to be a graphic here, Ricky. Just look at the fucking Where, though, right? Where? It doesn't matter. It's going to be here on the screen somewhere. Just look at the fucking camera. It's not here right now. Just, would you shut up? Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mike here from Memory Reviews and More. And we are back. As you've seen from the intro, yes, we do have a hot sauce from the Trailer Park Boys. And uh, for those of you who have seen the show, uh, for me, it's like one of my all-time favorite shows. It's like one of the best things on TV. And if you haven't seen the show, you definitely have to check it out. You can catch it on Netflix. It's just a, a real funny, raunchy, if you're into that type of stuff, uh, Canadian comedy. It's, it's, it's just awesome. Uh, so what we got here is we got their hot sauce. And this comes from the Coney Island Saucery. So if you want to try it out, I will leave a link in the description as well. And you can check it out. Um, it's not a real hot sauce. It's only got a level of like four of a four uh, heat level, which is rather mild. We'll take a look and see what the ingredients are. <clears throat> what we have? Whoop, very small print. Ingredients are cayenne-based, aged red cayenne peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, xanthan gum, garlic, vegetable oil, uh, palm fruit oil, canola. Safflower flax and olive oils, water, natural flavor, pea protein, sunflower, um, lactic acid. <laughs> that doesn't sound too good. Uh, distilled vinegar, shake well and refrigerate before opening. <clears throat> so we'll give it a shake. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really used to help. And uh, just uh, as a reminder, this is going to be the uh, last chance you guys get to. Uh, Get on the packy chip. Uh, we are going to give it away in the next video. So uh, if you want to win a free 2020 packy chip uh, for the one chip challenge, to either do your own video or just to do it, just leave a comment in the uh, in the comment section and say you want the chip. Uh, just please make sure you like the video and that you are subscribed. And like I said, we will be giving that away, uh, announcing that in the next video. So let me crack this open. And we will try it out. Hopefully everybody's been having a decent day. For those of us up here in the window, we got hammered pretty good with snow uh, last night and today. Close to a foot probably. <clears throat> let me leave a comment in the comments. Just let me know if you got where you are and if you got if you got any snow and how much you got. Take a whiff. That actually got a really strong uh, up front vinegar. Vinegar smell. <clears throat> it's very potent smelling. Normally I do a little uh, my mother of pearl spoon. But I'm going to do a little bit more of this. Just because it is a trailer park boy. I don't want to go too much because that vinegar smell is really powerful. It does have some kind of You can almost smell heat. I guess you can smell the cayenne a little bit, and it almost smells like uh, Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> but uh, without uh, any further ado, we're gonna give it a give it a whirl, see how it tastes in my League of Fire uh, shot glass. <sighs> All right. Yeah, very, very, <laughs> very vinegary. But it's uh. It is actually really good, um, but it is really, it does hammer you with the vinegar. But this would be excellent, I think, on uh, probably anything. <laughs> it's uh, really good. There's something else I'm tasting that I, I like, and I can't really pick out what it is. But uh, try another shot. Yeah, it really tastes like a 
got <clears throat> like I'm drinking French Red Hot. It does hit your throat high with the vinegar. Heat wise, like I said, it's listed as like a level four out of twenty, which is a mild heat <clears throat> uh, for hotness on a scale. It'd probably be a one for a non-chili person that's never done anything. This would probably be a four. Like I said, it's, it's comparable to me like a Frank's Red Hot, but this tastes way better. This is actually really, really good, uh, good stuff. It, is, it even says on the bottle, it's a, it's a decent hot sauce. <laughs> it is pretty good. Uh, you see level 4 out of 20, I'm not sure if you can see that. <clears throat> For the heat rating, um, very, it is very tasty. Uh, like I said, it comes from the Coney, Coney Island Saucery. Uh, perfect hot sauce for Trailer Park Boy fans. <clears throat> it says it is a decent hot sauce. A Louisiana style garlic forward. I think that's what I was tasting. I couldn't figure out. I think it's the garlic. It's saying more of a garlic forward taste, but I'm finding it to be uh, <clears throat> more vinegar hidden. But I'm going to try it again just to see if I'm a little confused. I couldn't pick that up. But it might be the garlic. You can taste a little chunks. Not like big chunks, but you can taste like the, the it's not a smooth texture. You can taste the garlic, I think. Yeah. I still say it's more uh, of a vinegar forward. You want to try some, Henry? Very, very good. The camera guy, a little shot here. And see if he picks up more vinegar than garlic. I think it's more of a vinegar taste. What are you getting out of it? More vinegar or you taste the garlic more? Vinegar is very strong. In it. it is very strong, right? I so think the, prominent, man. I think the vinegar is more forward. In it. But it is good. It's very good. I think that would be good on anything. I think you could put that on anything. French fries, eggs. Uh, you can bang that on anything. It's very good. Well, there's the trailer box. <laughs> the trailer park boys hot sauce. It is a decent sauce. And hey, it's a trailer park boys. And like I said, if you haven't seen the trailer park boys, Take some time to fire it up on Netflix. It's uh, very addictive. It's a binge watching type show. It's like 10 seasons now, I think. And uh, <clears throat> they haven't done one in a little while because one of the cast members did die. But uh, hopefully they'll be back to do some more. They also got a couple movies. But uh, make sure you check it out at the Coney Island Sorcery. And uh, like I said, I will leave a link for that. And uh, don't forget, guys, like I said, this is going to be the last chance to uh, catch up on the you want that packy chip this is the last video i'm going to do and then we're going to we're going to give it away next for the next video we'll have uh, we'll do the random winner so leave a comment like the video make sure you subscribe and uh <clears throat> that's pretty much it this is a pretty straightforward easy video like i said this is this sauce to me was uh excellent and i'm not just saying that because it's trailer park boys it actually is really a really good hot sauce that you could literally put on anything i, I do recommend trying it <clears throat> but it is uh it is got the heavy vinegar and uh upfront taste but if it's on food it's going to really break that down doing it in the shot glass obviously it's going to get you hammered a little bit more <clears throat> but i think you'll enjoy it <clears throat> and like i said don't forget to like share subscribe appreciate you checking out the videos as always this is mike from mb reviews and more until next time hey we'll see you <clears throat> that was pretty damn good sauce <laughs> you want to try a little bit it's very good but it's it's Definitely, uh, I think the vinegar stands out way more. There's something in it that, that makes me remind me of some kind of like soup or stew. Or... Doesn't it remind you a little bit of Frank's Red Hot? No. You didn't get that Frank's Red Hot Frank's flavor? Red Hot is more buttery. It's buttery tasting. I you didn't know? quite get and a it, butter taste. It, it, Frank's Red Hot is like buttery tasting and like the top of the mill hot sauce. Like every hot sauce tastes like Frank's Red Hot, but not... Like that, that, that's like a small, weak hot sauce. See, it says up front, though, the peppers, the vinegar, the salt, the xanthan gum, the garlic. There's nothing else really in it. So we haven't had those, olive we haven't olive. had xanthan gum by itself. No, it's, yeah. xanthan gum's in the, all the uh, Mad Dogs, though. That's in all my Mad Dog sauces. Yeah, but not that, I, nothing tastes like fucking Mad Dog. It was very good, I liked it. I, I could picture eating this on a french fry. <laughs>